Beyond the Limits of Time, The Story of Tyriel and Siaran, Book 1, The Unforeseen Alliance, narrated by Olga Baciu, author Olga Baciu. Chapter 1, The Unexpected Meeting. Siaran's heart hammered against his chest, the cool stone walls of the Elder's Hall, echoing the silent dread that filled the air. The hall, usually resonant with the wisdom of ages, now felt like a cold tomb, each elder's gaze an unspoken verdict. Siaran, disguised cleverly as a boy, had never felt the weight of his secret as heavily as he did today. The elders, ancient and severe, sat like statues carved from the old world, their eyes piercing through the dim light. State your case. Elder Marin's voice cut through the silence, as harsh as the winds that swept through the valley outside. Siaran stepped forward, his boots scuffing against the stone. The murmur of his parents, fearful and hushed, was a distant whisper behind him. I... I claim protection under the consortship of Tyriel, he blurted, his voice a mix of desperation and feigned confidence. A collective gasp rippled through the hall. Tyriel, sitting among the shadows, felt a curious stir. This boy, audacious enough to invoke his name, intrigued him. His eyes, a deep violet, fixed on Siaran, taking in the ragged bravery that clung to him like a second skin. The doors to the hall burst open with a ceremonial thud, and Tyriel rose, his presence commanding silence. And who dares speak my name without fear? His voice boomed, the walls themselves seeming to shudder. Siaran's resolve wavered, but the memory of his mother's tearful face steeled him. He marched up to Tyriel, the distance between them charged with a magnetic pull. Reaching him, Siaran did something wholly unexpected. He threw his arms around Tyriel, the act so startling that whispers danced like fireflies in the dark. Forgive my boldness, Siaran whispered, his cheek pressed against Tyriel's chest, feeling the immortal's heart beat a steady, powerful rhythm. But I choose to stand with you, or not at all. Tyriel, taken aback, looked down at the top of Siaran's head, his initial impulse to push the boy away warring with a burgeoning protectiveness. With a grace that belied his powerful frame, Tyriel encircled Siaran with one arm, a shield and a proclamation all at once. Then stand you shall and none shall harm you, Tyriel declared, his voice echoing, turning every head in the hall. His eyes, fierce yet thoughtful, promised a storm of consequence for any who dared challenge his word. The elders murmured among themselves, their ancient faces creased with intrigue and apprehension. This was no ordinary claim. It was a challenge to the very foundations of their traditions. As the murmurs grew into a cacophony, Siaran stood, still encircled by Tyriel's arm, his disguise as a boy, a thin veil that only he knew, needed to stay intact. His heart, for the first time in many nights, began to see a glimmer of hope. Perhaps, in this audacious act, he had not only saved himself, but had also unknowingly steered the destiny of more than just his own life. 